we got a new set of tail lights for the old third gen here. So go back behind, show them the before, give a good look at them. I got them turned on here too. You notice how that one doesn't blink? It's not blinking, right? All that being said, we're gonna have to swap these out. Um, it's probably just a ball, but I don't really like these tailings anyways. I'll keep them in case you guys want them. But um, I figure we'll go with something a little bit different. Here's the new set of lights for the freaking rear end of the truck. Looks pretty freaking sharp. They had a, they had an option between like a chrome housing and a completely black and then tinted housing. I went with the black and tinted just because that's kind of what's already on there. And I didn't want to change the look of the truck too much for the people that have entered just because even though it's a simple thing like a taillight, you know, if it started out with like a darker tinted taillight, I want to keep it a darker tinted taillight. But it is a little different, but I think it's going to be an improvement. So let's go get these things thrown on and, uh, Get the little before and after side by side. I think it's gonna look pretty good. They were only inside. That's retarded. How does that even happen? I have no idea. They were on the inside. That makes no sense. They weren't even fastened. They were just like, screws are just screwed into there. They just like popped in. I don't know how the tail didn't fall off. That's wild. That's terrible. So here we are, new set of tail lights later. Looking good again. We actually have a blinker on both sides now, not just this side. This tail light wasn't even fastened in. No. I don't know how that thing stayed in there. It's a miracle it wasn't just laying on the road. Right? You did get the video. The one on this side was not even fastened in. Like the screws <laughs> were in the tail light, but the tail light was just like popped into the little grommets over here on the sides. And the actual screw heads were not fastened through the bedside into the housing of the tail light. It was just like into the housing of the tail light and then just like popped in. Which is wild though. It wasn't just they, laying on the road. I don't know how it didn't fall out and like makes no sense the back of the truck. i had no idea it was like that wild but you know it's whatever to there and uh things look freaking good though mm -hmm. they're so much brighter though even the turning signal like works best. it's so much brighter than the other side way better like you can actually like see Good. It's pretty freaking good. Also. Quick little update for you. Hopefully you like the third gen taillights. Let me know down in the comment section below if you like those or not. Yeah, they look pretty freaking sick. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you guys want the other set, even though the turning signals didn't work on the driver's side, you guys can have them. I have them in the back seat, all boxed up in the same packaging. The other ones came out of if you guys want them, whoever wins that truck, which by the way, actually you guys have just a little bit over like 10 days left to enter to win that thing. So 
take advantage of it while you can. If you haven't seen the emails that we send out, and if you're not subscribed, you should do that because we send out some pretty awesome limited time offers and deals. And some of them are like only like 20 of these discount codes or bonus codes for like a day. And it can really give you a really good increase of entries on the current giveaways that we're doing. So definitely check that out. I think we're running a really good one for mystery box subscribers right now. But anyways, the guy that won the struck Ashley Bailey out of Louisiana, I believe he said that he's a traveling pipeline welder. And, um, you know, we're trying to line up a good time for him to come up here and get this thing and not miss too much work. Cause apparently his schedule is kind of crammed and just kind of chaotic with you know, doing the traveling stuff and whatever. Um, and it, it's not looked at very highly if you take random days off with super short notice and you know just to get a truck but it's not really justifiable excuse to miss work when you're traveling for that kind of stuff so he's actually going to have the truck shipped to his home and that way it'll kind of get down to his place around the time he'll be getting back in town to his main residence so that's the update for that so if you guys don't see like a winter video that's why you know we're tr we were really trying he was really trying to try to figure out a time to come up here and make it work so we can do the video and all that stuff too. And he's like, honestly, dude, he's like, the hassle of it is probably gonna cost me more money than it would to just have the truck ship. And I'm like, no problem, let's arrange it, you know, we'll get it going. So we're just waiting for a truck to show up, haul this thing down to Louisiana. And uh, again, congratulations, Ashley Bailey from Forest Hill, Louisiana. And just remember, you could be next with our third gen up there with the new super cool Tail lights that actually work and they like point good stuff so that's nice um and required by wall actually in <laughs> every state you're legal now <laughs> uh, but anyways all that being said yeah i don't really know where i was going with this i don't know what you were thinking uh, i i don't i don't know i mean we got three second gens we do have three second gens right so now. I mean, we can just end it on that note second gen squad dude like <laughs> Second gens are where it's at. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That third gen's cool, man. And I really do think they're some of the most practical trucks. Like if you're gonna, if you have to have a diesel between a first, second, third, or early fourth gen that, you know, is maybe stripped down, deleted. And you're like looking at the pricing of the trucks for the money. If you wanna have one that's pre-emissions that doesn't fall under a lot of the same laws as the newer trucks that did have emissions requirements, those third gens, dude, they're like the five nine third gen is like that. It's modern enough to be comfortable. I mean, any heavy duty truck doesn't ride great anyways, but that thing's like, it rides good enough to be nice. It's nice to drive. And it's just, the steering's just, I don't know. Like I've driven a lot of second gen. It just feels better. Maybe it's not any better, but it just feels better to drive one of those trucks in terms of like for the money and for what you can get for the money. I mean, they just seem like a really good truck for the freaking money. So anyways, they're nice, but these are just, they have a place in my heart. I just can't get them out of my system. It's bad. It's it's kind of like drugs, <laughs> but it's a second gen thing. Like it's it's different than drugs, but it's pretty close to the same. It's basically the same. It, I mean, what are we doing? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even know what what are we. This is stupid. Let's just end it. And on that note. And on that note, uh, <laughs> my wife just had a baby last night, so I should probably go inside and hang out with her and uh, end this video. And so. probably be smart. Yeah, it's probably gonna. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. But uh, don't forget, if you want to enter and win that third gen plus the five grand, that giveaway is ending on February 12th. That is ending very rapidly. So if you want to get in on that, cool. If not, no pressure. But it is ending very soon. So take advantage of that while you can. If you want a super sweet bonus into that giveaway, check your emails that we send out. If you get those, or the text. We send you guys special offers and promos that are not available to everybody else on all of our social media that are not in on the inside scoop with the inside information on how to get those bonuses. So, um, but simply placing an order gets you under to win. So if you did that, you're good. Peace.